Now, you might have thought he'd have learned his lesson by now, but of course he hasn't. You might have thought the BBC would now have enough reasons to find him in breach of his contract, or at least the social media guidelines at the state broadcaster. Yes, I'm afraid we're talking about him again, that bastion of free speech, that writer of wrongs, that virtue-signalling sports presenter who so infuriates the right and is so idolised by the left, Gary Bloody Lineker. How many more of his utterings must we put up with? How many more pronouncements do we have to endure? It's now gone way beyond asking him to keep his nose out of politics. Now it's more like, can you just not stop attention-seeking for a month or so, even a couple of weeks? It was only in December when he decided to go on the attack after a couple of Tory MPs and Cabinet ministers told him to stick to football. He'd signed a joint letter whining on about immigration, normally his pet subject. The BBC said that wasn't against the social media guidelines because it wasn't on social media. Not until he decided to have a go at Grant Shapps, Jonathan Gullis and Lee Anderson on social media, then it was. And the BBC said it was still OK. This month's Lineker atrocity is about the latest lefty cause celebre, the war in Gaza. The former England striker decided to retweet a plea from the Palestinian Football Association to sanction Israel and ban it from competitions until it ends, in his words, its grave violations of international law. But yet again, the BBC isn't prepared to do anything about it. Strange as well, since I can't remember the last international competition that actually involved Palestine playing. Gary has now removed the offending tweet, since even he realised that it wasn't the smartest thing to do to get involved in it particularly since, like many lefties of his ilk, he has never actually commented on the horrific massacre of innocent men, women and children on October the 7th. The fact remains that the Match of the Day presenter lives a lie inside his own head. He's happy to support a ban on Israel, while at the same time travelling to work at football World Cups in Russia and Qatar, and in the case of the latter, even being in receipt of hundreds of thousands of pounds from the Qatari state broadcaster. Human rights only matters to Gary when it's about Israel, apparently. Some critics have asked the question, is Gary Lineker actually anti-Semitic? I don't think he is, but his ignorance is starting to become seriously dangerous. He might get away with it in his own little world, but messing about with international diplomacy and foreign policy isn't big and it isn't clever. Only today, the Hamas-run news agency, the Kuds News Network, retweeted Gary's message with their own words. Renowned English broadcaster calls for Israel to be banned from international football. Politics makes very strange bedfellows. Gary Lineker and Hamas. How proud he must be.